Tomorrow, the Twin Cities decide who will be their voice in Baton Rouge when the state legislature convenes. NBC 10's Anna McAllister talking to the two candidates in the runoff for the vacant seat in House District 17. What have you learned, Anna? Well, Gordon, both of these candidates are very passionate about their community, and they are ready to face off at the polls tomorrow. And I had the chance to speak to both of them today to see how they're using these final hours ahead of the election. Two candidates, one state representative seat, and an insurmountable amount of passion. Now will District 17 vote for candidate Rodney McFarland, or will they vote for candidate Pat Moore? The Democrats will battle it out tomorrow to see who will represent the community they love in the state capitol. I've been a citizen of this district now for right at 30 years. And I see a lot of things that I would like to do in order to better our community. I want to go to Baton Rouge in order to help our governor. I have always enjoyed giving back to the community and being a servant. That's what I did even before becoming a police juror. I worked in communities. I took my families into communities, and I brought others into the communities. They're both using these last hours before the election to their advantage. I'm going to get out and continue to knock on doors and to ask those that's in District 7 to give me opportunity to represent them in Baton Rouge. It's uh, still meeting people, still listening to people, and still letting them know that, yes, I know the issues that District 17 is, uh, are dealing with. They're competitors, but both share an important message for the citizens of District 17. Please go vote. I just need the people to get out and vote. If you're going to the polls tomorrow, you're only going to vote for Rodney McFarland or Pat Moore. Now, polls will open at 7 a.m. tomorrow and will close at 8 p.m. And for, for the full interviews from both of these candidates, you could check it out on our website, myarclamist.com. Live in the Media Control Center, Adam McAllister, NBC 10, your local news leader.